Hi, I'm John Barber, Editor-in-Chief at IDW Publishing, and welcome to Barber Shop. It's that time of year when people from all over the world gather together right here in San Diego for Comic-Con International. That's right, the San Diego Comic-Con, where we get to see old friends and all gather together in one giant room. Everyone's faces uncovered and open with no worries. Well, so I guess the bad news is that's not exactly happening this year. The good news, and we could all use some good news, is that Comic-Con is happening. And the great news is that it's happening for everybody, not just the lucky few who can get tickets and afford to make their way to San Diego. Sure, if you've been to SDCC before, you know there's things we'll miss. But I think it's great that everybody around the world can really be a part of this and get to see all kinds of stuff. Especially the panels where your favorite creators and stars and journalists and, I don't know, editors-in-chief? sit there and talk about what's coming out or older stuff that we care about, and hopefully a bunch of things that are interesting and important to you. And that's usually one of the rough parts about Comic-Con for me. There's so many great panels about such a wide range of subjects, I hate missing them. But now we can all watch them at home. The panels will roll out over the five-day weekend from Wednesday to Sunday at specific times, but it's 2020. It's all streaming. Two panels at the same time, or the same time that you're at work or taking care of the kids or whatever, no problem. Watch them when you can, and you don't have to miss a thing. So IDW's panels kick off on Thursday with G.I. Joe Snake Eyes, as comicbook.com's Jim Viscardi interviews the amazing Rob Liefeld. Hang on to your hat or your ninja mask, because I bet this one will be almost as wild and fun as Rob's Snake Eyes Dead Game comic is. Rob's guaranteed to have some awesome insights and infectious excitement about this hit series. That's two in the afternoon. Then at three, IDW teams up with our friends at San Diego's Fleet Science Center for the science of back to the future. But there's actually a little bit more science because Fleet's Andrea Decker is moderating a panel with the creative team of our upcoming Transformers Back to the Future crossover comic. That's Kevin Scott and Juan Samu, along with amazing scientists in the fields of robotics and physics, Sara Nadiri and Dr. Lisa Will. I'll be there too, but don't let that stop you. It's Thursday at three. Friday, we've got a great one. Draw a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. We have the legendary co-creator of the Turtles, Kevin Eastman. I mean, who could know more about drawing the TMNT than Kevin, right? But then we have current TMNT writer artist and one of my absolute favorite comics creators in the world, Sophie Campbell. Plus, the absolutely great Chad Thomas, who's drawn our all-ages Turtles comic, uh, along with many other things. Caleb Gullner is leading the action, and that's Friday at 1 p.m. Changing topics a little bit later that afternoon is the Mueller Report in 10 Minutes by the creative team of our Mueller Report graphic novel, cartoonist Shannon Wheeler and journalist Steve Dean. This is a meticulously researched and very witty take on the Mueller Report. You can join Shannon and Steve on a journey of understanding one of the most misrepresented books in recent history uh, on Friday afternoon at 5, and it'll go longer than 10 minutes. Then Saturday brings us IDW Presents Artists Editions, Jim Lee's X-Men and more. IDW's Scott Dunbeer and Dirk Wood are joined by incredible inker Scott Williams, a great artist who lent his pen to so many classic Jim Lee comics then and now, including, of course, the X-Men issues that are coming out in that upcoming artist edition, where we reproduce original art at its original size so you can see every little detail and white out mark and everything. It's the next best thing to owning the original art, so expect some in-depth art conversation plus a few secrets about upcoming projects at noon on Saturday. IDW in 2020 and beyond is later that afternoon, as George Costinas, senior editor at the New York Times, grills Chris Ryle, IDW president, publisher, and chief creative officer, and John Barber, hey, that's me, about what's coming up in some of your favorite comics, like Sonic and Transformers and My Little Pony, and some of our upcoming graphic novels, like Redbone. I'm sure I'll forget somebody's name right in the middle of conversation, so tune in and see, Saturday at 2. And that evening, join us for Fantagraphics and IDW present Classic Comics Reprints. Karen Green, curator for comics and cartoons at Columbia University's Rare Book and Manuscript Library, joins panelists Dean Mullaney, the Library of American Comics Creative Director, Peter Moreska, founder and publisher of Sunday Press, and Eric Reynolds, Fantagraphics Associate Publisher, to talk about shedding new light on classic comics. It's Saturday at 6. Sunday has traditionally been SDCC's Kids Day, and this year is no exception. Huddle with your kids around the tablet or whatever for imagination and fun for kids the IDW way. 
Sam Maggs, writer of Marvel Action Captain Marvel, joins some of the best storytellers in the IDW publishing stable, including Evan Stanley, who's about to take over as Sonic the Hedgehog writer-artist, Tony Fleeks for My Little Pony and Star Wars Adventures, plus graphic novel creators Kim Duenell, a former Disney animator and the cartoonist behind Surfside Girls, Jared Cullum of Cody fame, and Adam Tierney, author of Afraid of Everything. That's at Sunday at 10 a.m. So that's IDW's panels, but panels are only half the show, right? Shopping's a big part of the Comic-Con experience, and we've got a ton of exclusives. Some on the Comic-Con website and some on uh, IDW's website. We've got a Snake Eyes Dead Game number one and a Transformers 84 Secrets and Lies number one, each with exclusive classic packaging art covers. Plus, exclusive covers for Sleeping Beauties, My Little Ponies, Transformers, Canto Clockwork, much more. There will also be signed book plate editions of books from Kevin Eastman, Stan Sakai, Walter Simonson, the Canto team, many more. So check out our panels, check out our exclusives. The web store link should be right here. And enjoy this week of celebrating the best of comics, graphic novels, and pop culture in general. We all deserve a minute to remember some of the stuff that makes us happy, you know? That's all for this week. And remember, you can keep up with IDW on social media and check back here every week for news and updates. And as always, thanks for watching.